crap, that was low. Anyway, guys, what's up? My name is Welsh Dragon DSC or Dragon DSC because I kind of changed my name. Just so you know. Um, anyway, so I, in the last episode, I did ask you guys, should I go out on loan? And the thing is, I did decide to go out on loan to Leeds United. I thought Leeds was going to be a very, very good one. Um, so we didn't get selected for the first game, so I thought that was understandable. Because we've literally just joined and it was that game. Anyway, but we go into an international break straight off. And I got something to talk about. I put on Twitter because there was a slight issue with this Leeds low. Um, I wasn't getting selected at all. You'll find out after the setting game. I wasn't getting selected at all. But I was getting messages saying, you have been selected for the next match. But it wasn't putting me in the match. So it was apparently it's a glitch. I need to go back to Stuttgart in January. And... Um, then it should all be fine and then go on loan to another team so that's kind of a problem at the moment the only games you're going to be seeing is international and we start off very very well with international and we do end up scoring in the 12th minute with an assist to our name beautiful for through ball all defended by the Indian defence. Anyway, we're charging down this right-hand side. Now, Cunningham on the 6.6 .6 rating. Whips the ball in. Look at that. On the noggin. And it's just past... Um, no, sorry. Hits the post. And it was just inches away from going into the back of the net. And we controlled this right-hand side very, very well. We seem to tear it up. Because... With me as a, a right midfielder, or in general, how if I played on a right mid, I would always constantly be on that touchline. So play more of a right winger role than a right mid. Um, but we do end up getting pushed into the midfield, um, centre midfielder role quite a bit during this game. They do end up changing us to that position in the future, the manager does. And, um, and to be honest, we did very, very well there. Out on the right now, lovely one-two passing now. Also, as for the ball on the way out, and we do end up getting on the tap. We do have free kick here. Cross the ball in, floats in beautifully, and it's a brilliant save on the goalkeeper to tip it over the bar, and it still keeps it at 1 0. Lovely one to pass, and again, charging down this right on, right on, right hand side, 9.3. We're gonna whip it in, and we do it, it, it takes a deflection. Unfortunately, I did try to loft it, but I did press the X too many times, and I did, I did a triple X rather than a double. But we defend well as well, um, also, and that's what's good about my player at the moment. We get defend well, and sure we get a chance, and it's close, but it was called offside. It was a brilliant save from that, but anyway, we do end up winning that game, and we do end up getting seven points now in the Asian qualifier, and we do end up getting man of the match, ladies and gentlemen, with an 8.5. 85% passing, as you can see, 81% possession to us, and as you can see, the man of the match, or even 8.5. No one coming close. Anyway, we get selected for Australia, the derby, the international derby, and uh, according to Alan Smith, uh, we don't like each other very much. That's how, that's literally the words he said. But anyway, here's the team lineup. Australia going out with the 4 2 3 1 formation. Anyway, we ask for the ball straight from kickoff. Look at this, do a bit of footies. And uh, we do end up asking, doing a bit of one-two passing, trying to get, you know, control the game, make it ours a little bit more. And uh, we do end up switching the switch a it. And guys, let's try and get 200 likes on this video. Be highly appreciated if we do. And I want to say thank you very much for the support on the previous episode. It went down very, very well. So, cheers. Um, anyway, I'm going to post. I want you guys to post in the comments right now. Little comment question. I want to ask you, who... Um, uh, who are you doing as your player career? Or are you doing your own virtual pro as your player career? Let me know in the comments below. It'll be interesting to see what each of you are doing. Because I know a lot of right, I know a lot of you, uh, at least a couple of you posting the previous. Uh, and this, I thought this was me mesmerizing. I don't know why. I just thought it was perfect. Um, and we got some more skill later on as well against Lam. Um, so post in the comments and tell me what player you're going as in your player career mode. Or even if it, even if you are going to virtual pro, your own virtual pro, let me know. Because I noticed someone in the previous comments was saying that I'm doing mine with so-and-so. So it'll be interesting to see what you guys are doing as well. But anyway, look at this. Ronaldo drops past the player. Charging down his right-hand side, whips it in. Unfortunately, we didn't get anyone on the end of it. But it was originally a good play down the right-hand side. And we get a chance here. And it does end up getting deflected when we go for the shot. It wasn't necessarily a chance. It wouldn't have been a good chance anyway. But it worked out. Anyway, we've done this right hand side. Switched the ball over because we had a load of space. Look at this. Cut back. Cut back again. Down this right. Cuts in. Whips it in. On the head. Great save from the goalkeeper. And uh, we do unfortunately end up drawing that game 1 1, leaving uh, uh, so far. Not sure if we've qualified, but we do end up drawing 0 0 in uh, the Asian. I think it's the Asian Cup. 
No, I can't remember what they called it. The Championship Tournament or Cup, they called it. We only had a 6.8, which wasn't brilliant. We had more, We did better than last game, I would say. Personally, overall, and see here, we did play more of a central midfielder role. Anyway, as you see here, here's the glitch I'm on about. You're in the next match. And I have to sim the next match. And uh, we play in Derby. And uh, what it looks like, I'm going to have to be simming until January. So you will only see international matches. Unless we get a bit of fortunate and it does end up changing. Uh, if any of you guys have actually had this problem, tell me how you fixed it. It would be highly appreciated. I have been told by on Twitter that you need to go back to another team. And he said, well, I did get tail told but yeah, I can't get my words out they get told that I should go out on low but the thing is I'm already out on low so a bit of a problem but anyway look at that Ooh, absolutely switcheroo uh, absolute done uh, alarm inside out I had alarm in my back pocket he was playing on the left hand side in this particular game maybe that's why I did so well against him the first 10 minutes or so we did absolutely amazing and uh, the thing is we had chances but then Germany obviously they could capitalise on it because we don't take ours. But then we get on a counter attack here. 20th minute in. I do ask for the ball back. And look at this now. Do so two defenders. Tap their round. And here is like, I was like shoot, shoot. And it didn't shoot. And it delayed a little bit. And we do end up getting the ball in the back next corner. Our very first goal. As well as our very first goal in the national level. And scoring our very... No. No, that's it. It was only two. Very first goal. Very first international. Uh... Anyway, we, so we did pretty well. Actually, quite an even game. But the thing is, with our attacks, they didn't seem as threatening compared to Germany's. But we get an attack. You're trying, ripping down this leg, right-hand side. Tearing Lam up. And then we whip it in. And we should have scored. It should have gone in the back of the net. We should have been 2-0 up. This is also an international friendly, just to let you all know. And we do end up... Uh, no, sorry. Germany ended up having a chance. Our goalkeeper... Deserves man of the match. The saves. Look at that again. The saves from him were mesmerizing. Absolutely brilliant. And we do end up going 1 0 at halftime. And Germany do end up on the corner. I'm on the post here. Brilliant save again from the goalkeeper. I did slide, even though I'm pressing X to try and get rid of the ball. I always make that mistake. I get told to press B, but never do it. Like I press B there, and um, I do end up sliding anyway. Anyway, we look at Rice. Corner of the ball in again. Ball comes in. Keeper punches it away. It's out the Schweinsteiger. Comes out. Boateng. And we do end up clearing it to keep it 1-0 uh, in the 83rd minute. But Germany comes straight back on the attack. They do end up getting a shot. And it's a brilliant save from the goalkeeper to keep it at 1-0. And Germany get a chance. And that's it. Game over. We do end up beating a quality side in Germany. Very, very tough at 1-0. Controlled the game. Actually, to be honest, it was we controlled the first 10-15 minutes, and then it was quite an even game throughout. So, end to end games. Guys, just smash 200 likes. I want to say thank you very much for your support. If you yet to subscribe, make sure you subscribe. Adios, and bye.